Welcome to Hub Cinema. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and enjoy the video. Damn it! I told you no! And you cannot force me to go! Come on, honey. Don't you want to see your little cousin? She's waiting for you. Uh, no! You know how she is, Dad! I mean, I love her and that, and it bothers me a lot that she keeps asking me about uh, the same question since three months ago about her power. Apart, I think she's a little masochist with that little eel that she has as a pet. Masochist? Come on, honey, you need to understand her. She's just a child like you. Also, she's waiting for you. Today, don't you want to see her? Oh, okay, I'm going out. Come on, let's end this. See, I told you I had everything under control. Okay, well done, responsible father. Well, I think there is now. There is nobody around here. Let's try it again. So don't bite so hard, please. My cute daughter! Are you okay? Did that thing hurt you? No, Dad. Calm down, please. I'm okay. I'm fine. <gasps> oh, you know that I don't let anybody hurt you, my sweetie tea. Oh, what a cute father. Huh? Brother! Hello, bro. It's been so long. How are you and C? Oh, <laughs> we're all fine. She was waiting for you all. Hey, how was Grandpa too? You know, to pass a little time with guys. Uh, yeah, he's fine too. <laughs> you know him in his chair all day long. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Of course he's not okay. He's getting weaker and weaker every day. Oh, it's worrying me so much. Hey, come on, cheer up, Muggy. He's gonna be fine, I promise. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Well, 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 what do we have in here? Hi, cousin. They drugged me! Let me think. Cal Maria is inside the house, right? Oh, she's taking care of Kettle right now! Mr. Kettler, are you sleeping again? Oh, well, great! Honey, cutie, wanna go inside? Um, I don't know. Better, I'll be outside with C. All right, girls. My lady, wanna come inside? <laughs> Whatever you say, Copsy. Ugh, elderly love. Okay, we're gonna be inside the house. Oh, I forgot something else to tell you two. If you two are gonna be around Inkwell Island, please, please, don't move away from the surroundings. Believe me, I know it. Okay, see ya! Before we get right into this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more awesome comic dub. Great work, boys! It's clear skies and smooth sailing from here on. So much for keeping a low profile. Sorry about the planes. Nah, those were just first editions. Anyway, you didn't think I'd give rookies the top class stuff, did ya? What? Come see me if you need to go up in the air again. See you live? For now. Shame what happened. I used to get daily reports from her. Morning, bird face! Huh, I'm more of a bird than you, wingless wonder. She was an odd duck for sure. Wouldn't have ever called her sweet, but personable. Never would have guessed she'd sell her soul. Though I did notice she was off lately. You were friends with her? And you helped us take her down? Listen here, Blue. Doing the right thing ain't always the easiest thing. Though it's a far easier goal when your so-called friend tries to crush you with star magic. Oh. It's all right. It's been a while since I've gotten into a scrap like that. <laughs> Reminds me of the old days. Cheers! Hey, Mug. Sorry I lost my head up in the air. You didn't have to take that hit for me. 
You could have really gotten hurt. We're not gonna make it out of this without a few chips. We don't even need Hilda to see that. It doesn't help that I keep freezing up either. Ron's not gonna be there to help us for every fight. We both got stuff to work on. How many times do I gotta say it? We're in this together, no matter what. <laughs> I don't deserve a brother like you. <laughs> nah, you really don't. Hey! Dr. Cal's robot? Robots don't have souls, do they? Well, I don't know. Well, there aren't many robots around. At least it should be easy to find. Where is this thing? I don't get it. Is it some kind of riddle? Is this just trying to mess with our heads? Well, I got the feeling that the people we asked might have known where it is, but didn't want to tell us. They did seem pretty nervous. That can't be good for us. Say, Cuphead, didn't Hilda Berg say she knew what Dr. Cal? I don't remember, did she? I'm sure she did. She might know where to go find him. Let's go. You always remember these things right, but will she help us again? At this point, it couldn't hurt to ask. Didn't I tell you two brats not to trust anyone that has anything to do with the devil? That includes me, you know. Yeah, well, you were wrong about part of that. Was I? So what, you come to take it out on me or something? Cuphead. Maybe. You really did help us out. We were hoping you had more advice for us. We're sort of stuck. Ron said you were having trouble getting back on your feet, so we brought you this. Hmm. You're sweet when you're not on a murderous rampage. Mm. Hey, you should talk, lady! I guess we both should be happy I don't remember most of our little scuffle. Nothing personal, just business. Things were said, missiles were launched, planes were destroyed. Let's let bygones be bygones. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we're all headed for eternal servitude with the devil. But since we're spending eternity together, we might as well be friends, right? That's a spirit. Looks like you're still trying to get out of it, though. Sir Kettle brought these for me. I can't rely on my true sight right now. Doc said not to channel magic. Sir Kettle said he's seen what happened to me before. Being forced that far past my channeling capacity could have killed me, which was probably part of the devil's plan. Oops, I lived. Huh! Anyway, true sights cause me too much trouble. I've made a lot of mistakes with my mind, but it's still my greatest asset. Why did Elder Kettle come to see you? Truth be told, I'm not sure why anyone came to see me. Not with the way I've been lately. Rod is really worried about you. Yes, I could tell. I've had visitors all day checking in on me. Some of them I barely even knew before then. The people of the island are pretty special. So how are you planning to pay for that roof? Well, Ron, when my contract is turned in and my soul is gruesomely ripped from my body, just sell all my things. That'll do. Rusty old tin can. Speaking of, it appears that I'm still living. You haven't turned in my contract yet, have you? Slacking off, are we? Or did you change your mind? We need to find Dr. Kell. What on earth makes you think I'd just sell out one of my friends? It's not him on the list, but we don't get what this is supposed to mean. Robots don't have souls, right? Maybe we should call for help. She doesn't look so good. He couldn't have. It's not possible. Miss Berg, are you all right? What is it? What? One of Cal's greatest ambitions was to create an artificial soul. That does sound impossible. He's beyond brilliant. I didn't even realize how advanced he was until I sold my soul. But he has far less of a conscience than most people I know as well. I'm not surprised you couldn't find him. People are afraid of him, and for good cause. Listen, if I tell you where he is, he can't know that you got your information from me. Cal is an exceedingly dangerous man to have as an enemy. You two are in real trouble if he doesn't want to give up that contract. <laughs> there you go, counting us out before the fight starts again. You're thinking this robot has a soul Cal created and was sold to the devil for something? Having a spare soul to trade lowers the stake quite a bit, wouldn't you say? But none of that makes sense. Why would he even have to attach the soul to something like a robot? And why would he have backed out of the deal if it was just a spare soul? I don't know. You'll have to find that out yourselves. He has a laboratory by the junkyard on the west side of aisle 3. Also, if it's the robot I think it is, you'd better find another set of airplanes. Just in case. What? You should be inside resting. Too nice of a night, Sir Kettle. I never waste a clear sky.
No need for formalities, my dear. How are you feeling? The healing potions mostly worked. They just can't do anything for the exhaustion from magical expenditure. Indeed. Sleep is the only cure for that. I've slept enough. This could be my last night as a free woman. I might never see the stars again. There, there, it's all right. Everything will work out. They asked me to read their future. I know what they're planning. And I know that they will fail. I think you're underestimating them again. I didn't realize you were an oracle yourself. I can't see any other reason why you'd see me this upset about what I see in the future and still be such an optimist. I have faith in my boys. I raised them after all. Aside from that, if you felt things were that bleak for you, you could have your power to leverage your freedom. I don't believe you have. Does that mean you think they have a chance in succeeding? <laughs> Let's get something straight here. I'm no angel. I'm not going to pretend that I didn't have selfish reasons for making that deal either. If anyone had found out what I discovered and made a name for themselves with it, I wouldn't be happy. But one of the reasons I traded my soul in the first place is I considered the advancement of society as a whole more important than one soul. How would I be able to live with selling out the people of Inkwell, especially with the kindness you've all shown me today? And I'd be triple the fool I appear to be if I made another deal with him. He'd have no reason to anyway. He already owns my soul. But you might be right. My reputation as a psychic is fairly... dismal. If I say they'll fail, it seems more likely that they'll succeed, doesn't it? You're no monster either. And I must confess, I'm no innocent. I have ulterior motivations for visiting. Shame, Sir Kettle. I never expected such underhanded tactics from you. I don't suppose you found anything useful in those books. Seedlings, potential, spells I would have to build on top of other spells. It would take time and an experienced hand, of which I likely have neither. I see, but now you know your situation is not entirely hopeless. My door is always open if you'd rather not be alone. Thank you. But it'd be better if I stayed out here tonight. Starlight is a powerful 